Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. I'm your host as always, Mr. G, and today we're back in the late Cretaceous era to talk about T-Rex's greatest rival. It was the old three-horned face itself. You probably have seen it in a movie before. It's the one and only Triceratops. Triceratops means three-horned face, which it should be obvious where it got that name from. It was a member of the Ceratopsid family, which were a group of dinosaurs that were famous for having flat-nosed faces with horns on them. Well, some had horns, some didn't, but they were still Ceratopsids because of their frills. Despite what you may have heard, Triceratops was actually an omnivore rather than a pure herbivore. They think that Triceratops may have scavenged meat from other theropods such as T-Rex, or may have even killed smaller animals and ate them. Triceratops was one of the last dinosaurs living at the tail end of the late Cretaceous, and it lived in North America. Triceratops was about 30 feet long, only slightly smaller than a T-Rex, which was its greatest adversary. The most notable thing about Triceratops are, of course, the three horns that it had on its head. Currently, the two most popular explanations for them are that they were either used for defense or they were used in courtship rituals. Although some paleontologists think they may have been used for both purposes. Another notable thing about Triceratops is the frill it had on its head, which was characteristic of all ceratopsids. Well, even to this day, its purpose is unknown. The most popular theory nowadays is that the frills were a display during mating rituals. For the longest time, it was unknown as to whether or not Triceratops lived in herds, but in 2020, new discoveries were made that seemed to point to Triceratops living in small herds of around 8 to 10 individuals. Alright, now when it comes to Triceratops, there is one particular news story that most paleo fans of any variety, whether casual or hardcore, may have heard lately. As a few years back, it was very popular around the internet. Just like Megalodon being alive, I don't want to have to talk about this, but I feel as it's as if it's my duty to talk about it. So let's just get it out of the way. Did Triceratops even exist? I'm sure plenty of you heard that and are going, and are going like, huh, what? Well, in a nutshell, in 2010, a new theory was proposed that Triceratops was actually the young version of another Ceratopsid named Taurosaurus. And a few years later, news media picked up on it and started reporting that Triceratops was no longer going to exist afterwards. Let me just clear up two things about this. One, even if Triceratops was found out to be a young version of Taurosaurus, Triceratops was discovered and named first. And according to the international laws of naming, if two animals are discovered to be one and the same, then the animal who was named first gets is the one where the name keeps valid into the new species. So, even if they were discovered to be one and the same, the name Triceratops would still be in use. And secondly, this theory is still debated, nothing is set in stone, and there are plenty of paleontologists who are arguing the validity of this theory. Stories like this are good lessons to make sure that you actually do your research when you see internet articles of outrageous claims. Make sure to do your own research when you see things like that, as it'll help you come to your own conclusions. With all that out of the way, let's look at its card. Well, it's Triceratops, all right. Is it good? Is it bad? Eh, it's kind of boring looking. After all these crazy colors we've been seeing throughout these cards, it's uh, so weird to see them just go with gray again. Although I have noticed that it appears to have two chocolate chip cookies inside of its frill. That's a weird design choice. But anyway, I'm not sure what else to say about this card. I'll just... Uh, uh, 9 out of 10, I guess, because of, uh, because of the elephant legs, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't have much to say about this card, it's, uh, it's just kind of bland looking. Now it's time for Triceratops appearances in pop culture. Just like T-Rex and Stegosaurus, I'll only be covering a few of them since Triceratops has been in so much stuff. In the Jurassic Park series, Triceratops has appeared in every single movie, although its only major role in the series was in the first film where they come across a sick one. As I said in the Stegosaurus video in the novel, the sick dinosaur was a Stegosaurus. I still have no idea why they replaced it with a Triceratops. Ever since then, Triceratops has mostly been a background animal. A Triceratops appears in the Ray Harryhausen film 1 million BC, where at one point it fights a Ceratosaurus. Triceratops appears as a secret animal in the PC game Zoo Tycoon that you get by naming and exhibit Cretaceous Corral. Triceratops returns in the sequel where it's no longer a secret. 
Triceratops is a playable dinosaur in the video game Saurian. A dead Triceratops appears in the Walking with Dinosaurs series. One of the main characters of the Land Before Time franchise is a young Triceratops named Sarah. Some Triceratops appear in Fantasia. And finally, in Ark Survival Evolved, we're introduced to their version of Triceratops, which are described as being a hybrid of Triceratops and a close relative called Styracosaurus, which we'll get to in a later video. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me, the join me next time when I talk about a boomerang-headed salamander. Bye!